At one point, this Patrick Reed chip shot was the shot of the day on Thursday. Then Reed took a roller coaster ride. Into the grandstand, he'd bogey 16. He'd hit into the penalty area on 17, then take a drop onto the cart path. Very good strike, drawing it in on a perfect line. Oh, oh, oh. come on. Now that's the shot of the day. The wind and rain did its best to still the show this week at Port Royal. Wind gust got up to 40 plus miles per hour on Thursday. This is the hardest wind I've ever played in. I absolutely ripped to drive on seven. Uh, people are gonna laugh at this because they'll probably think it's me, my normal t-shirt anyway, but I, I ripped it and it went 245. You know, and, and that's, I think my season average last year was like 295, so just shows you how strong it is. Sunday wasn't much better. Tea times were pushed up, birdies were few and far between, but that wasn't a problem for first time PGA Tour winner Lucas Herbert, who voiced Saturday that he'd come ready for a battle-tested final round. The harder it is, the better, I, I think. Uh, I've always enjoyed a good test of golf, and I think, um, yeah, the conditions make it tough tomorrow. It could make it a bit of fun. Um, not sure what Taylor's going to finish up, but it might require some chasing down, so, or a little bit of help from him to come back if the conditions are going to be kind of pretty average. And Lucas Herbert has broken through on the PGA Tour. The 25-year-old from Australia is a winner. It was a week that Brian Morris will never forget. A local club pro in Bermuda, Brian has been battling stage four cancer for nearly two years. And this week, his dream of playing on the PGA Tour came true. I hope that people look at my story and, and don't give up. They came to me on the 23rd of December and told me that I had stage four esophageal and stomach cancer. So I'm like a year past my expiration date and I'm pretty cool with that. I'm, I'm happy with that. An inspiration to us all. Also inspiring, Jim Canals needed to finish solo 67th or better this week to obtain full Corn Ferry Tour status and conditional PGA Tour status. Pressure is immense. Um, I've just dealt with it for, for two years now. It's, it's just been weighing on me. Um, and it's tough for my family. The injury just, it was hard. I'm just proud to be, you know, fighting on and have my my family's support just, it just means a lot to me. Mission accomplished. I just told myself, we're gonna do this. Proud to fight back on that second nine, make some birdies in tough conditions, and um, you know, leave Bermuda with with some sort of status on the on the PGA Tour going forward. Danny Lee gave us his best Bryson impersonation this Halloween weekend. He's Champion been hanging Champ. out with Bryson DeChambeau. That looked like all of the little <laughs> moves that DeChambeau makes. I'm, oh I'm serious. Gosh. And Patrick Flavin gave us Cinderella story type vibes. Flavin Monday qualified for Bermuda and at one point Saturday with his dad on the bag was tied for the lead. Uh, yeah. Yes. Got your answer. That would be yes. What a great shot from that live ball above his feet as well. Not a grip we see every day. Cross handed, left hand low. Golf is fun, they said. Matt Fitzpatrick might disagree. Really tough. Oh, oh wow. Boy. Dear. There's a false front. Look out. Yep. Oh, man. That's not stopping for a while. Oh my gosh, it's a steep gonna slope. going to reappear? Steep slope. Yes, it is. Don't end up in a divot hole. Oh boy. Why to say it? Truly, no one was safe. Tree and pole in Seth Reeves' trajectory, ball below his feet. <laughs> he said, oh boy. <laughs> That's a heck of a shot. He didn't seem like he liked it. Bermuda certainly provided its challenges, but what a memorable week it was. Next up, another slice of paradise as we head to the Worldwide Technology Championship at Mayakoba. We'll have your first round recap Thursday night in The Takeaway.